Hello from London Stansted Airport. Today I'm flying one of Ryanair's classic 737-800s from here in London back to Brno in the Czech Republic. After getting my documents checked, this is required for non-EU citizens by the way, I made my way to security, which was a disaster. The line seemed endless and the border control agents were stopping everyone for every little thing. The annoying thing about Stansted Airport is that it is extremely hard to get accurate information. My flight was delayed and I didn't even know it as there were no announcements and the departure boards took hours to show new info about any flight. After killing a few hours in the airport, I made my way to the gate for this hour and a half long flight to Brno. Here's my aircraft for this evening's flight. This aircraft, registered Echo India, Echo Foxtrot Zulu, was delivered new to Ryanair in November of 2009 making the aircraft 12 and a half years old at the time when I flew on it. Boarding commenced an hour and a half late at 17.30 from gate 48 as I made my way to seat 20F. Let's take a look around the seat. This cabin is Ryanair's typical older one with more comfortable seats. The pitch of 30 inches makes this older cabin a lot more comfortable than Ryanair's newer 737 MAX ones. One main grab that I have with it is that it looks quite worn out and dirty, with stains everywhere and not so clean windows. Pushback commenced 1 hour and 45 minutes late. After being delayed for another hour, we finally taxied to the runway. Here's our takeoff from runway 22 in London Stansted. As per usual, there is no Wi-Fi on any Ryanair flights, nor free in-flight service. After around an hour in cruise, we finally started our descent into Brno. Here's our landing into runway 09 at Brno Tuzhani Airport. Overall, I'd rate this flight 7 out of 10. Despite the disaster at Stansted Airport, along with a worn out and dirty cabin, the seats were quite comfy. The flight attendants and pilots kept us informed throughout our delay. Anyways, that's all from me. Until next time, see ya.